Wellzoom B Pro Extruder Filament Quality Test Let's make the filament with the Wellzoom B Pro Extruder first. Place the extruder on a table 1 meter above the floor and turn on the power. Set temperature. These are dried ABS pellets with blue color master batch added. Pour them into the hopper as the raw material for extrusion. Wait for the temperature to reach the set value. Press the extrusion switch. The filament is extruded. Guide the filament through the holder. The extruded filament is a little twisted at first. But it will become smooth soon. Now, the quality of the extruded filament is getting better. Mark it, and you can see that the filament is constantly being extruded out. The Wellzoom B Pro extruder relies on the self-weight traction of the filament to ensure smooth extrusion when extruding at a slow speed. From another angle, you can see the extruded filament falling onto the ground. Use the auto winder to wind up the filament. At the same time, measure the filament diameter. The filament diameter is basically maintained at about 1.75 mm. Then let's see if the filament can be used for 3D printing. The 3D printer we use is Bambulab P1S. Remove the cables to the AMS system. Load the filament onto the printer. The feed plate starts to rotate, and the filament is fed smoothly. Let's first print a temperature tower ranging from 230 to 270 degrees Celsius to test the suitable printing temperature for the material. It can be seen that when printing the layer of 250 degrees Celsius, the printer is no longer able to print properly. From the printed temperature tower model, it can be seen that the printing quality of 265 to 70 is better. Next, print a drying box for our ASM system at 270 degrees Celsius. Although there's some stringing, it still looks good. And the parts fit well. Test result. The Wellzoom B Pro extruder has an accuracy of about 0.05 mm when extruding a 1.75 mm filament at low speed, and the filament can be used for 3D printing.